Still to come on the programme, from rocking all over the world to tours being cancelled during lockdown. July is hot. Yes. And you think that makes any sense, Laura? Look at the front pages this morning. <laughs> the Daily Mail called... Government promises to keep dangerous criminals behind bars. We haven't mentioned Madonna yet, have we? Uh, <laughs> who's, uh, Why gonna... would we? She's, and now she's going to direct and co-write her own biopic. The focus of this film will always be music, she said. Is that... Because... Because... And now we're doing the full biopic. I tell you what, for uh, Madonna Q, fans, why not? Q Susanna Reed would... <laughs> I tell you what, yeah. it sounds fabulous. A, I'll, wa I'll go and watch it. Don't worry, Madonna. Yeah. Madonna was last good in the holiday tour. When was that? Early... Late a 80s? 80s. I was at Wembley Stadium, loved it. There Went we with go. a great friend of mine, Will Page, and we were at the back of the stadium, drank a load of beer, fell asleep, mm. and then woke up to find 70,000 people in front of us. I went, don't worry, mate, I've got this. I said... Security! And you, all you do is shout security. People immediately do that. And by oh. the time they realise it's not security, they've shut again and you've gone. And we managed to get down right to the front row. Right. And I was a big Madonna fan. And that was 19, 1989, maybe? You fraudulently pretended tour. to be a security guard in order mm. to get your own way at a Madonna gig. Yeah, and it was great. Um, shameless, but utterly the, shameless. But she's been, it's been downhill ever since for the next what 30 was it? years. What, what was the falling out point? With them. Here's what she was good. What, what was, was the moment that you fell out of the world? No question. But no, but and what now was she's the just, moment? It's pathetic watching Madonna now. Why? Pathetic. Why is it pathetic? She's honestly... It's, what, it's, because she had the temerity? Uh, <laughs> oh, Susanna. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll try that as I get what she, She's trying to act the age of her, of her boyfriends. I think the latest one's about... What is he? 18 or something. I know, he's not. They're always older than her kids, I know that. Nothing wrong with that, though, Susanna. Oh, east of the road. East of the road. Why not east oh, of the road? Oh, she's own. embarrassing. We all know it is. Oh, at you least you kids. banging on about Madonna has stopped you banging on about Obama Yang. Obama Yang. Oh, goodness me. Laws announced this morning could see teenagers who commit murder sent to prison for life with no chance of parole. Yes, despite Boris Johnson backing the new laws, um, Chris Dorr, who is a leading... Mm, thank you both very much. Uh, the Justice Secretary, Robert Buckland, who is doing the rounds everywhere but here, has uh, been speaking to the BBC about testing. Let's see what happened. It's a good point. What do they, what do they say? Do we get the answer? <laughs> I mean, here's the bottom line. That's a lie. That's the Justice Secretary lying. We see an increase of 350,000 tests being done every day. No, we don't. As Louise had to point out. No, we don't. That's the capacity. That's the capacity. As I've regularly said. What's I have your the, capacity? I have the capacity to sleep with 1,000 supermodels. Currently, I'm sleeping with zero supermodels. Can we fact You see the that? difference? I'm not saying that situation can't change, <laughs> but it's unlikely to. The supermodels might have a say in it. <laughs> My wife might have a say. But <laughs> the bottom line is 350,000 tests are not being done every day. 62,000 people are okay. being tested every day. It's a deliberately malevolent, disingenuous also, way of reframing what is happening. If you're one of those people trying to get a test, I think it'll just leave you banging your head on the table when you hear that there's 350,000 We've got all this capacity. capacity. Well, how well, come no one can get a damn test? Give them to the people who need them. And some of these stories, honestly, Sarah on email, my granddad who's 88 and lives alone, has been referred to hospital under the two-week cancer rule. He couldn't have tests to see if he has cancer until he has a COVID test. The test for COVID was a 120-mile round trip. No option for home test or closer testing. He was told if he couldn't get a COVID test, he couldn't have the investigations into his cancer. My father had to drive 180 miles to collect him and then drive a further 120 miles round trip for his COVID test. This is an 88-year-old man who is living with the terror of cancer. Dr. Hillary. And he has to do that. that. Is, why, that is, why, that Dr. Hillary, are we not...